Alright, what's up, y'all? So, I have a new face. What's going on, y'all? Mr. Trey, O-R-R, -R, big O-R-R. Only the real relate dot net. Hello. Throw the O up, you know, that's the site. Hello. You feel me? So, y'all, okay, so today we're going to be talking about our life's purpose. And I think that's kind of like a broad, you know, topic. But we're going to break it down into a lot of different aspects, um, especially with us, like, being Christian and young you know, we can go into spirit, spirituality and all these different things when it comes to our um, role in life as humans. So first things first, like, what is your definition of a life's purpose? Mm. My definition of a life's purpose. Uh, basically, throughout your, your life, what, what's the purpose to it? Like, what are you here for? That's like the overall definition in my head. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you're here for, what you did with your life, you know. Like what mark you left on everybody else in the community and all that. So do you feel like you found your purpose yet? No. And it's crazy because it's like, I honestly think, bro, you don't really know your purpose until like it's over. How do you know that? Like, why, well, why do you think like that? Because it's like, I mean... Thinking about it, like you can, I feel like we think we know our purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But God, God takes us every which way. You really don't know until it's all said and done. Like I feel like you, you don't never really ever stop searching for your purpose because there's always something for you to do. You know that makes sense. I don't know. That's so crazy because I was thinking about it a whole different way. I was thinking like basically like based on your qualities and the things that you know you do on a daily basis that works towards your overall life's purpose. Like when I was thinking about my um, life's purpose without thinking spiritually, I'm mm -hmm. thinking like, you know, because I'm so vocal and opinionated, like I just feel like one purpose of mine is to be, to help people like to speak up, to be vocal for the people that aren't so vocal. And maybe I feel like that's like one of your purposes. You know what I'm saying? Like we, I'm, I'm trying to keep it all spiritual, like spiritual, like mm -hmm. biblically, but it's like we have so many different talents, you know? Yeah. That's, that's I feel like mm -hmm. that's the, that relates to your purpose, like on the daily, you know, because it's yeah. like, I feel like our purpose on the daily is to impact everybody we come across by being ourselves, whether that's to be an inspiration, an example, you know, that all that plays a part in like your purpose with you just being you. But then I feel like we also have like a, a overall purpose of like what we were actually put on here to do. Okay, but if you're not going to know um, what your purpose was until it's over, how do you know? Because that's when you're gone. Like, that's when you're dead. Like, um, so you're not going to know. Not, right? I, like, what do you mean, like, when it's over? When it's over? I, I, more so in a sense, not necessarily, like, dead, but mm -hmm. I feel like your real purpose, it won't unveil until later down the line. Okay. You like, know? when you've grown? Yeah, like, how grown? Because you've grown. Cause you grown. I mean, you know, I still got a lot of growing to do. Definitely. You know, it's like, I feel like it's shit, it's shit. You niggas probably won't know till, my bad. Nigga. <laughs> probably won't know till like mm, 50, 60, or whenever he just let us know. I feel like he lets us know, like, little by little. But I can't say, like, because right now I feel like clothes and fashion. Right. I was my just about to ask stuff you. Like that, like. That's what I feel. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I know my real purpose is deeper than that in the sense it's like, when it comes to inspiring people, right? you know what I'm saying? Just by wearing what I want to wear, even if whether or not I even ever even have a conversation with them. If I walk past them and they see something, something different, you know, I feel like that's all purpose. But that's, I can't say that's like my real, real purpose because it don't, I don't know. You know, I don't know where God got left yeah. to take me. I, I used to think it was basketball. Then it went to clothes. Okay. You know I definitely what see what you're saying. Like, what you yeah. feel your purpose is? Lately, I've been telling, like, my friends and family, like, for some reason, I just feel like I always want to help people. Like, I give them the benefit of the doubt over and over and over, and I'm so forgiving because I just see their potential. I be trying to see the good in them. I just be trying to help them, like, get to the person I feel like they should be. I don't know why, like, I have the heart to just, and the desire to just help people, like, help them reach their full potential. Like, 
if they're a good person, I want to turn them. I mean, if they're a bad person, I want to turn them good. As a child, bro, I was I was so like bad. I was so bad and like like all throughout school and church, like I was like I was bad. And there was people that I don't know, they just kind of took a toll on me, like they grasped towards me and they um they really helped me become like a better person, like the person I am today. So yeah. it's just like I feel like I'm trying to do that for other people. I see what they lack in or I see like their hurt or, you know, whatever it is that they're going through. And I try to help them become better. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily saying that's my purpose, but right now, I don't know. That's really what I've been doing lately. And I haven't noticed it until like I end up keeping getting hurt. And I'm like, because I keep ignoring all these, you know, signs. And instead of going away, running away, I keep running towards them. Mm, so you feel like your purpose is to help people? I think so. But not even only in that aspect, like, especially because, you know, I'm going into law yeah. and stuff, too. So and like that's I what said, I was going to say, like, and overall that I feel like that all ties into helping people. Mm -hmm. Even when you mentioned like earlier, like helping Being people vocal. become better vocally, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel like that's, bro, that's I ain't gonna, not just like take away from like your specific person, but I feel like, bro, that's the purpose we all should have mm -hmm. is to help people. You know, I say that in the word. Not only that, it's just to guide people, you know. Guide people, yeah, definitely. I, I can't say like I see myself like becoming like no pastor or nothing like that. But like I was just saying, like I do see myself taking a role, as mm -hmm. I, especially as like I grow into Christ or just when it comes to spreading the word. Right. Knowledge, you know, wisdom, you know, where I can, you feel me? Because I can't say like, I don't know, now that you say that, it's like, we all have a role, like, even in, like, society. We all have a role, exactly. Even in, like, society, you know what I'm saying? Some people, they have to be spe specific functions to make the, everything work, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't say, say like, for sure, but I've definitely heard it before. Really? People be saying, like, I'm always trying to be, like, spiritual or, like, Give people like advice and stuff. Yeah, yeah you know but that's what, what you're supposed to. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe that's something towards your purpose. But it, I'm mainly trying to focus on that because one, we mention like our purpose in life to other people. A lot of people don't think of spiritual, like they don't think spiritually, mm -hmm. or they don't think about God. They don't think about you know spreading the word. They think like about their future. They yeah. think about their career path. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm trying to touch base on both because I feel like it's an important topic. Like a lot of people that I know, they are Christian, so they will have a better understanding of what we're talking about. But you know, there's some people that aren't. Yeah. So they their their life's purpose might be a whole different, you know, image yeah. of or definition of what our life's purpose would be. And no, I definitely agree. It's definitely like a difference. You know, even when like I. I even pay attention, like, even before I got into the word, like, how my purpose and my definition of it has shifted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like before, I felt like, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even have an idea what my purpose was before I even got into the word. I just knew what I wanted to do, like, in a sense to where as long as I was doing this, I was straight. I was more content, you know, but it's like, once I got in the word, I don't know, it's like, the vision kind of, it wasn't as blurry, you know, even though, like I said, you still don't know where you're going, but right. it's just, it's just faith that it all re reveal. That's the beauty behind it, like life. It's like, you, you never really know, like, with life, like, yeah. people can tell you the way to go, but bro, you don't know, because they don't even know, they don't even have it figured out, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's the beauty behind it. That's like the excitement. Don't get me wrong, like, it's a lot of doubt and all that that come with it, like, not knowing. Yeah. But it's like, as well, you are the the author. Like, you're the director of the show, you know, or the stage or the life. You feel me? So it's what you put into it. So do you think, like, the things you're doing now is eventually going to lead for your overall, to your overall purpose in um, life? That's a good question. Like... I would like to say, I would like to say, yeah, like it will because it's like I know what I'm doing when it comes to like trying to stay consistent mm -hmm. and working. But it's like also you're a busy man. 
yeah you know and it's like oh, i love it <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it you know what i'm saying but it's i hope it works out but as i also know as well like my flaws mm -hmm. and stuff that's like holding me back in a sense so i want to say with, with god and stuff yeah it's gonna lead me to i know it's gonna work out it's just right now i'm just trying to practice like patient i feel like because it's how i look at it if you're working every day in a sense where it's like you're trying to better yourself every day, how can you lose? But it's like, like I say, with it, it's just a lot of patience. Everything to unveil for your hard work to pay off. You know, it's kind of hard to do that. You know, even when it comes to like your purpose and stuff, it's kind of hard to just stay focused when it's a lot of distractions, social media. You know what I'm saying? I feel like social media. Even jobs, though. Even jobs. Yeah, bro. That, bro, that takes up so much time. You Definitely. Know, like, and it can have a, like an effect, take a toll on your mental health. It's a lot, even school. Like, it's yeah. a lot that are distractions. So, you just gotta, you gotta just play the long game, though. You know, it'll all be worth it. Yeah. So, okay. So, you know how we were just talking about wanting to help people, or you know how people should help people in life. I was actually talking about. Ooh, who was I talking about this with? I think Keely in our last video. But now that I'm thinking about it, because I have saw this little quote that I reposted or whatever, and it was talking about, like, just being selfish for once. Like, well, that's one thing I'm just now realizing, like, and learning, like, when it comes to taking on friends and stuff yeah. like that, it's like, bro, you have to actually, like, deal with, like, that's like another set of emotions and stuff you're taking on. And that's my exact point. That's my point, like, everybody's different. Everybody's mindsets are different. You know, mm -hmm. personalities different. Souls are different. A lot of people you get attached to, it can either hurt you or it can benefit you. When it comes to meeting people, you just really have to learn how to detach yourself. I like the first, you know, red flags. In a, in a sense. No, no, no. I agree. I ain't going to say like, I just don't know if I would use the word like detach. Detach? It's like, what would you say? Because it's like, notice red flags, you know, and it's like, if you continue to move on with them, just always be aware of them. You feel me? But I don't feel like you should allow that to like, they're red flags. It, Cause I look at it as if you're going to deal with somebody, you deal with them. You know what I'm saying? But you can't halfway deal with them, you know. Which is why you should detach. Yeah, yeah. true. You got me. But no, 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 no. I, Cause I agree with you. Like, you know, once people show you a certain side, like that don't mean you have to cut them out your life completely. Like you just kind of know, you know, how to how to move with them so mm -hmm. i see both i see both unless the red flags are like really 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 bad yeah no nah, if they're really really bad you gotta you gotta run but that's my problem like i think too you know how people always say like you know i'm gonna just treat this person how they treat me yeah do you think like that i don't think like that. i i i do in at times but it's it's kind of hard for me to keep that mindset yeah it's like as well just because like biblically like mm -hmm. you know it, it teaches us to love you feel me regardless of how somebody does do and that's you. what i'm saying and so it's at times I, I try to keep that mindset but it's like at sometimes i'll be wanting to make make people feel me bro like yeah that's what i'm okay that's that's exactly my point too like when i'm hurt or when i get hurt i always say i'm gonna just treat this person how i'm treated but then a week later Two weeks later or even a couple of days later like it's just like my heart is way too big yeah. to give people the energy they give me so instead i'm like instead of me treating you how you treat me i'm gonna just restrict certain access yeah. of my heart that i give you you feel what i'm saying like certain people just don't deserve the access that we grant them so Not instead okay. of treating them and stooping down to their level you know the ignorance and stuff i feel like we should just learn to detach and that that's what I'm saying. Like it all contributes back to the helping people. Because if you help people and you hurt, you get hurt because of it. It's like now, what is it okay to be selfish? Do you continue to go and help other people? It's just I don't know. It's like it's a cycle. Nah, it it is a cycle. It's it's crazy you say that because it's like I'm I'm just thinking like shit I got going on, the stuff I got going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's just. It's hard for me to stay mad, you know, yeah. for, for too long. 
it's a it's a blessing. Cause your heart's too big. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. It's like me, I'm quick to like. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be mad for how mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal with it. How I deal with it. I'm gonna be mad, but it's like once it's it's over and I didn't move on. It's like I'll be quick to like. All you right, can't bro, help let's, but to forget. You know what I'm saying? Let's just jump back to it. You feel me? It was cool. Means you learn where you went wrong. I learned where I went wrong. All right, now it's over with. And that's that's what, like you said. It can be a blessing or a curse because Trey, I kid you not. I am literally the same exact way. Like, yeah. I'll be mad for the short amount of time that I'm mad, but I can never hold a grudge. I'm so big on forgiveness because, yeah. you know, life is too short. And that that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing because, you know, people will cross you. Yeah. And sometimes you'll need to let them go. You know, you'll need, like I said, you need to restrict that excess that you give them. But me, it's so hard for me to do that. It's so hard for me to have somebody come in my life and just to know that, they they can you know be yeah. gone like not even necessarily gone as in dead but to say like Walk i don't in and out in and out i will never talk to you again that hurts me yeah I, I don't even like getting used to that like even with like friends and stuff like that's one of the thing i i stress like even if even if like we we in a disagreement we're not talking and stuff it, we i don't even want to get used to not talking for too long like all right you know what i'm saying that's why i say i'll be quick to just you know what? It's over with. You know, yeah. and just get back to it. Cause it's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even like getting accustomed to not talking to people who I who I care about. To me, like, I know everybody different. You don't gotta talk to them, but me, yeah. nah. Bro, I like to let folks know, like, show my appreciation while you're here. That's how I yes, look at it. Like, exactly. So it's like, I'm gonna appreciate you while you're here. I, I want to talk to you every day. I want you to know how much like you mean to me. How much I mean to you. Like, I feel like that's. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? And especially because forgiveness is emphasized throughout the entire Bible. Like, it's such yeah. a biblical standpoint. So maybe that's why our hearts are like that. Too. And then it's like, I look at it too that you said that it's like, bro, God forgive us. Every day. Every day. Even though, like, we are, we still trying to get right. He still show his grace and forgive us every day. Who Who am I? You know what I'm saying? Not to forgive somebody over some blood. Like. That's true, but you also have to think about it like you can forgive someone and still detach yourself. Yeah. Like, even though it's hard for us to detach ourselves and, you know, to stop talking to people completely, you can forgive them and let, let go. But I think our problem is, from what I've heard, like you say, is being afraid to let go. I know, like, that's mm. one of my biggest issues. Like, I'm so afraid to let go. I don't like like I said, I don't like for people to come into my life and I get attached to them. And then it's like one day we never talk again. Yeah. I got to let you go because of either the pain I'll cause you or the pain you cause me, which is most likely me not causing nobody pain. That's the uncomfortableness. Like, we don't like to be too uncomfortable for too long. Yeah. You know, we, we I feel like that's what it be. You know, you get to. It's just you comfortable with that person, so you be willing to put up and deal with a lot from that person because you're comfortable with them being there. But like you say, it's like sometimes you just gotta learn. Even though you can forgive them and stuff, sometimes it's like some people just not meant. You know, they just not meant in your will or not right now. So it's like you just gotta keep the mindset. It's like even if it's not working right now, if God wants us to. If God planned across our paths again, it'll happen. So when when the time right, sure. I guess that's when you'll know if they meant to come back or if they meant to be in your life for real. Right. Yeah. Do you think like there's um God sends like a certain person for you to benefit them or for them to benefit you? Like you know how people always say, like, you know, God sent me this person. I feel like it's vice versa. More like God definitely uses us and sends mm -hmm. us, but he definitely sends people to us as well. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not But how lie. do you know? <clears throat> how Bro, do you know when? You just know. Because it's like, even my best friend now, <clears throat> shout out Lint. That's that's mm -hmm. my dog. But it's like, even now, I tell her all the time, like, no boy, no, like, no cow. I feel like God sent her to me. Mm -hmm. right? In a sense to where I met her when I was in college, like. And the time I met her, it was like a low time for me. Like I wasn't even really feeling the college thing, you know? So it's like, but throughout that whole experience, she was somebody I got close to and we remained friends. Like even now I'm not even in college, you know what I'm saying? But she's still here. 
you know? So it's like, I really be telling her, like, it was meant for us to meet, like, and be locked in. Like, I, I really feel like I'm going to be cool with her forever type shit. And it's like, I'm happy. Like, that's one of the blessings that came from it, you know? But it's like, I also know as well, I was sent into other people's life, people that I'm not even cool with no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it was like morals or like stuff I said that I pressed, yep. you know what I'm saying? That, that go on with that them. That stays past, with them, yeah. Past our relationship, like I know for a fact that some people like that I didn't came across where I've had that impact on because they didn't told me after the fact, even after we're exactly. not, not even talking and stuff anymore. So it's like, I feel like it's vice versa. You know, you got to, exactly. you just got to pay attention to, you, you can't confuse the two thinking like somebody who's sent is but they're really not because yeah. you gotta i believe the devil sent people too yeah you know most definitely so it's just the discerning part yeah I feel like and like you said like um what you did or said or the way you act you know that stayed with them i think like like you said god has us sent to other people as well just based on how they talk about you you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like how they address you how they respect you like i do feel like i was sent in certain people's lives too like there's times where you know my friends will have me try to stray away from people that you know aren't christian or don't believe in a higher power but there's times where i really think like maybe we were sent you know we met yeah. them for a reason to you know like you said to um to give them the knowledge, to give them the wisdom when it comes to that. So there's so many different standpoints where we need to just have an open mind and, yeah. you know, think like, this is what I'm supposed to do for them. Like, just like you feel like your best friend was sent to you, whatever her purpose was yeah. to, you know, benefit you, encourage you. That's the same thing for us. And it goes in a spiritual standpoint. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but like, I'm keep doing that like even people who like don't believe or they believe in something else you know what i'm saying like it's our job to keep spreading it because it's like i think about to where i was before i got in the word like mm -hmm. growing up like yeah we went to church and stuff like that but it wasn't really forced like that you know so it's growing up i at a point in time i didn't believe in god i ain't gonna say i didn't believe in god but it's like i didn't give god no title I believed in a higher being, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I like, hear a lot of people say that, like, now, like, they just believe in a higher being, but they're not, they don't really know what, it come, what religion, you know? Yeah, and so it's like, but if it wasn't for, you know, one of my partners, one of my, my brothers, really, like, who? My boy Derek Demotivates, you know what I'm saying? Y'all check him out, he be motivating, like, it's Is a podcast? Good, it's not, he just shared message, oh, okay, you just... know, like a motivational speaker, okay. like, he shared a good message from the word and stuff, and it's just a good food of thought. But it's like at a point in time when I wasn't a, like a real, I, I'm going to say like real believer. I wasn't a full Christian. I wasn't like into it. He was. And mm. so it's like while we smoking or even like <clears throat> through missed conversation, it's like he doing little things like whether we may be smoking and boxing, but he listening to a sermon mm -hmm. while we boxing. So it's like all that saying little things here and there. You and know he wasn't saying? ashamed to do it. All that sparked my interest, you know what I'm saying? I, and I, I would like to say, like, that's what led me to getting into the word deeper. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just knowing if he had the mindset, oh, he don't believe. Like, I ain't not necessarily saying yeah. he's going to force it. But it's like, if he wasn't proud of being, like, Christian, like, like he was, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Who's to say I would even be in this, be where yeah. I'm at now? So it's like, nah, bro, keep doing that. Because it's like, you never know. God take us to to different places for different reasons. So you never know who you impact and whether it's somebody you're talking to directly or somebody who just listening. And it can just be simple things like words of encouragement. Yeah. Cause that's my, that's my mom is like, I don't even know you love my mom, but she come here, you meet her like, I, she's going to mention something about God. Like yeah. that's just the type of person she is. She's always spreading some type of wisdom. And she, she now she's older. My mom was in her fifties. That's, she feels like that's her purpose, you know, yeah. to get people closer to God, you know. That's good. That's beautiful. Yeah. Because it's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That like, just like we got a story and a journey. They didn't been through some stuff too, so it would just be beautiful. Like, really, one thing I just learned from talking to like people that's older than us, finding like really learning like their backstory, yeah, how they did it. You know, my neighbor. It's crazy. It's like. It's somebody who didn't like watch me grow up in a sense, you know. He's an older dude, you know, but 
now that I'm in the word, or not even now, now, but it's like, he's always coming by saying some encouraging stuff, you know what I'm saying? His journey and his journey with God and where it then took him and stuff like that. So it's just, it'd be good because it's like, bro, it's just another perspective, another reason for you to know it's real. Like, it's wisdom. Like, you can, you can never lose that with somebody. Like, what you know, you know, whether you didn't been through it or didn't heard it, you know. So yeah. That should be beautiful for real. You just really got to listen, appreciate it, you know. So what would you, like, advise? Um, other people or like the youth millennials to do to get closer to like their purpose or just to have knowledge or like some type of you know some type of thought of what their purpose is or how to live toward their end goal mm -hmm. uh well, i'm gonna just say like one thing i wish somebody would have told me you know what i'm saying it's just keep just to be you throughout the whole thing you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like god you know, don't don't be you that's all you got to be bro don't really worry about too much of like what's going on around you, you yeah know? even though all that stuff do play an impact you know an effect but throughout the whole process be you stay true to you be you know true to yourself you feel me you got to you know that's the only way like i feel like through that, your purpose will reveal itself. But you know, that's so crazy because I've always said, like, I don't know, just the things I desire versus my friend's desires, it's just, like, completely different. Like, just the things I like to do, like, for an example, the whole, you know, I don't smoke, I don't mm -hmm. drink, I don't like to, like, I'm not going to say I don't go out to parties, but that scenery is just not me. And it's just like, okay, so if I add that on top of everything else, like how vocal I am, how opinionated I am, it's just like, I feel like that all plays a part for my per my overall purpose. Like that all, you know, correlates on what it is I'm set on this earth to do. I feel like it's a, in a sense to where it's like, you're a great example of what you're trying to do. You know, you following the example, you know, you leading by example, you're stepping yeah. out on like you say, like not smoking, not drinking, not like it's it's different from people around you. You know what I'm saying? So with with it though, it come loneliness too at times. Yeah. So it's like don't get discouraged. You feel me? Definitely. It's a, it's a great thing. You know, like no cap, bro. People be trying to make 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 stuff seem it's all this and that. It don't be it don't be all that, bro. You feel me? It don't. It don't be all that, bro. And mind you, like, peer pressure is so real. Yeah, it is. Like, me personally, I can't get peer pressure. But it's it's real for other people. I didn't got peer pressure. I, for real? Yeah. I mean, now it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to get peer pressure because yeah, it's like... because you're strong-minded now. Before I got strong-minded, I stuff be tempting. Stuff you know, definitely... You be curious. You know, stuff be definitely just, be tempting. You want to know what's to it. But. Yeah. I don't know. I've never had the urge to go and smoke, though. Like, when people always ask me, like, you know, you've never smoked. Like, they thought, every time I tell somebody, like, I don't smoke, they think it's because I've had a bad experience. And, like, you never smoke. Trey, on a daily, I got people that's like, just hit it one time. Just hit it one time. Yeah, I've been peer that's pressure for my whole, throughout mid what, middle high school. I'm peer pressure. I'm still going strong. And that's crazy because y'all know y'all wrong if y'all <laughs> trying to get Deontay to smoke. Y'all know y'all wrong. Don't get me wrong. I think, I don't know if I probably just said hit it one time. But if I, <laughs> it, I was capping because it's like, I got a, my brother, he don't smoke. And it's one thing like as well, it's like, I'm firm about when it come to like, not necessarily trying to peer pressure nobody, but one thing, like, I don't want to be no bad influence. Bad influence. So it's like, if I got a friend, for example, my brother, he don't smoke, he don't drink, none of that. So it's like, even though I may be smoking around him, you never, it's, it, you ain't never going to see me passing the blunt. Or if we around other people and they're trying to pass it, no. Yeah, my sister, yeah, I got you some know, friends or sisters, my sister be like, no, she don't smoke. Yeah, you know, or it's like, if... You don't smoke before you come around me. I'm not going to be like, here, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, because yeah. it's like, bro, I know, I, like I say, bro, you just don't want to be no bad influence. And it's like, every eight times, I'll be wishing, like, 
shit, I wish I never started smoking and stuff like that. I just know what come with it. So it's mm-hmm. like if they not on that already, I'm not you're not finna get it off of me. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, nah, dog. Yeah, you don't want to be the one. I don't, you don't, don't want to be the one that set yeah. that up. Yeah, you ain't finna blame me. Nah, but I only said that to say that I just feel like we all have different characteristics that leads toward our angle, that leads toward towards our role in life. You know, as yeah. humans, like we're just all placed on this earth to do something. Whether, like you said earlier, to inspire somebody or to encourage somebody to help out in our community. You know. To anything like there's so many different purposes in life yeah uh, it's and we all got our own purpose we all have our own purpose you know what I'm saying? that's that's one thing to remember too like god made you the way perfectly he made you perfectly the, the way you're supposed to be so it's like it'd be hard as well when it come to like trying to compare your purpose to somebody, to somebody else. else's you know don't you, you can't get into all that you know you that's why it's just important to be you and stay true to you you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can walk in the shoes you walk in the way you walk in. You got to always remember that on your journey. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. And you know what's crazy? So I always, I have to think about that too. Like, even if you venting, like, if we go into venting and you're venting to somebody about, like, it could be about what your childhood, what you experienced, what you're going through now. It's just like, no one's going to fully understand because they're not actually in your shoes like yeah. they can yeah. try their hardest to understand what it is that you're feeling the emotion you're feeling the pain you're feeling but no one is going to truly you know yeah. understand it because they didn't go through it they didn't go even if they went through a certain situation a similar situation they didn't go through what you went through you know so yeah. they're not going to understand how you feel they're not mm-hmm. you're not going to you're not gonna fully understand how nobody else feels. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's just like you just gotta stay away from that comparison. I know that's like one of the hardest things like to deal with nowadays, especially like with everything going on, social, you know, yeah. what you see on the daily, what people that made normal and stuff. It's hard not to compare yourself and your situation to somebody else's like you see it working out for them, you you wondering why it's not working out for you. Mm-hmm. Now that's bringing doubt to what am I even supposed to be doing? Like, you can't mm-hmm. even get into all that. Me and Kiwi was literally just talking about that. Like, we're all on a different path. We're all going a different route. You can't really compare, you know, yourself to other people. Their path may be longer. Mm-hmm. They may be shorter. Like, we're all writing our own books. We're yeah. all writing our own stories. Like, it's going to be different. And it's like God's time and it's perfect. Yeah. You know, like, you got to always remember that. It don't always seem like it in the moment, but God's timing is perfect. Like, I look, like you remember when I was busting, bro? Yeah. I did not know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like, bro, and that reminds me of what something that she said. Oh my God, what she say? She kind of correlated like patience, yeah, with humility. But now that I'm thinking about it, like it could be like it could correlate with what we're talking about right now, our purpose in life, like patience. You know, you mentioned patience earlier and God's timing. So what did she say? She was like, she asked a question. She asked me, like, if I felt like patience, like, I don't know what to say. That's, but that's what it is. Like, I remember, bro, like, when I was busting, bro, like, bro, I was sad, bro. Yeah. Like, because it's like nothing was, stuff wasn't working out to how I envisioned it. I'm thinking it's going to go like this. I'm thinking it's going to all right this 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 you know what i'm saying but it's like being real i know throughout that whole time even though it took a lot of patience and all that was i did that for like a couple months but Mm -hmm. it's like the timing was perfect because it's like through it i learned so much i learned so much of myself about myself you know what i'm saying like i i practiced patience sitting it through and and it paid off you know what i'm saying so it's just like I, I I don't regret it, you know? And, bro, in the time, I was cursing it, like, any day, like, I'm just like, bro, I'm done with this shit. Every yeah, day I'm going in, I'm done with this shit. Like, I'm not dealing with this no more, like, but it paid off. And I only thank God that I stayed, stayed true to it, you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm in a, in a better position. I'm more strong-minded. Not only that, it brought me closer to him through it all. So it's just like, I just keep going, bro. It's a good character um, trait to have, being strong-minded, because, you know, when people are weak-minded, those are people that stray away from God. 
Yeah. And that end up straying away from their overall purpose in life. So just being strong minded, I don't know. That it's truly a blessing. Yeah. Just seeing something through, you know. Take it's, it's a blessing, bro. But it's just like you gotta it's, it comes a lot of faith, but it's like a lot of work too. Because I believe like in the Bible it's like faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's one thing to just have faith, but it's like you gotta just always continue to put forth effort. Give it your best. You know, I, I literally heard that in a sermon recently, and that's what stuck with me. It was just like, I'm a I'm a d- dead ass, like try to give my best every day. Every day. Like do the best that I can do, no matter what I'm doing. And no matter what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Just do your best. Do the best. Just see where, it, just see where it get me. You know, like, that's a that's a good that's a good little word. Um, paying attention to what it is that God is telling you. Like, yeah, and as as well though, it's like not only paying attention, but it's not trying to get distracted as well because it's like, but we still got to all be living right. Yeah. I feel like like that's all part mm. of the purpose. It's because it's like, shoot. Oh, my I'm... God. That just made me think of something totally different, though. What? Okay. So, you know, like, for an example, some people's purpose in life, you know, they'll think it's rapping or singing. Mm-hmm. And that could be in different what, genres like of music yeah. that will stray away from, you know, Christianity. Mm-hmm. But if they'll think that's their purpose. Mm. what's really their purpose I don't know you know it's crazy that you say that though because it's like mm, I it's somebody I know who be rapping and stuff like that that's what that's what they just told me the other day no cap like you know I be rapping and stuff like that but like and I enjoy it but like what if really like I'm supposed to be like doing this for like God, God. in a sense like when it come to like inquire or like what i'm talking about yeah. in my stuff is like and that's all just come with discerning yeah but you know there's there's times where like you, you can start off like that you can build your platform you can mm-hmm. get the audience just for you to go and change you know what you're speaking about you could be rapping about this and now you're you're spreading the word and yeah. because you have such a big audience from what you were doing before that's the same audience that you're encouraging to get right with God. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, there's a lot of. I think actually, uh, you you know, well, I think his name is like Hotspot, Mister Hotspot. I don't know, bro. It's, I don't, I ain't gonna act like I know who he is, but <laughs> <laughs> but like I remember, like back in the day, I want to say like when we was coming up, he used to be like big, like very like popular and stuff. Like that's when he was growing type, and it's like. Now that we're older, I believe like he transitioned whatever he was doing into like positivity, mm-hmm. like speaking about God and stuff like now. And it's just like, bro, that's that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like that's what I feel like that's that's purpose. You know, he thought it was something like this, but all in all, it showed. Whatever, like, God put him through enough, it showed him, like, you know, you really need to be talking about this. You need to be talking about this. You need to switch gears. Yeah, definitely. You know, so it's just, I don't know, bro. That It's kind of hard. I I think about that, too, though, just trying to switch your audience and stuff. You got to make sure you're doing it for the the right reasons. Right reasons. Yes, that's important. That way you can stay true to why you're doing it. Because it's like, I remember I had to just dealing with, like, sweat. Uh, audience switching and stuff like that like i used to be on tiktok like back then like i had like a little viral page or it was really? going up yeah like no cap it was going up a little bit i think i had like i reached like 30 38 followers on there back in the day though so niggas thought that was so i know niggas had like hundreds and millions nah, 30k stuff. is a lot but you know what i'm saying but when i was doing it I ain't gonna lie, like, as I was blowing up on it, I was blowing up on stuff, making stuff, like, I ain't gonna say, like, stuff, it wasn't really me, like, stuff I know, like, oh, yeah, this gonna get the attention, this gonna, mm, this gonna be controversial, like, this mm, gonna, like, you know what I'm and saying? And that can count as an, a distraction, because that's what a lot of people do, they'll make certain content, you know, yeah. to get the certain audience to reach certain numbers, whole time, the things that they're doing for attention is distracting them 
and it's pushing them away from their bro, purpose. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, and I just came so like, I ain't gonna say like I became obsessed with like, but that's what I was. That's what mm-hmm. I was in it for, like trying to get this many views and like, don't matter what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? As long as I'm getting this, and getting this, yeah. but then it's like once I like. That, and that's before I really got into the word and all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like before I even figured out what I was going to do with my life, I, I was doing that. And it's like the moment I realized, like, yeah, bro, like, I want to start doing this clothes stuff more seriously. Like, that's just, this is what I wanted, like, my name to be known for. I don't want it to be on some stuff. Like, I don't even. Yeah. I'm not even, it's not even me. It's like, and I tried to do that switch, but that junk fell off because it's like I built all these people being fake. Mm-hmm. So it's like, now that I'm giving them something real, they, they, they are not real, but more so me. That's not what they follow me for. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's why I feel like it's important to just be, stay true to you throughout the whole process. Yeah, I, that's crazy. Cause I did the same thing. I had this page that gained 30 something K followers too. It was like, when I was in middle school, it was a fan page of these YouTubers. Mm-hmm. And then when COVID happened and you know, all the, Crimes were happening when it came to police brutality and all that. Yeah. I switched my page. You know, I grew out of the fan page. I'm older now. I'm not having no fan page. Nobody. I grew out of that, and I'm like, I still have, I have thirty something k followers. Like I could do something with this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I switched it to um a police brutality page, BLM, and I was you know just being an advocate, like speaking out when it came to that. And like you said, like it definitely fell. Yeah. It fell, and you know what's crazy? That originally was my Deontay Spoke page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That name, that's how I got Deontay Spoke. It was because of that. Like that was Deontay Spoke, my police brutality advocate page. Yeah, that was my Deontay Spoke page. So when I was like, I wanted to start a podcast, I'm like, hmm. Just like I was saying what I needed to say on that page, and just like I was being opinionated and vocal and just very strong minded. You get what I'm yeah. saying? I'm doing the same thing now, but on different topics, on more, you know, a wider standpoint. And I said it. He brought it into existence. I feel like maybe the old, like, it all molded you. Yeah. In a sense, like, we're, I don't know if that's like when you first started, like, speaking out and stuff like that, but it's like all that played an impact on Definitely. where you are now. Not only that, knowing, even, even, even it falling. You know what I'm saying? That's still, that molds you in a sense because it's like, it makes you work harder. You know, I definitely under, understand when it comes to that, but you just got to remember that shit molds you. And it just, happened yeah. for a reason. You know? Just, just like you were saying though, like, bigger. just like you said, when it comes to, you know, doing certain things for views and stuff i always used to like you know as kids we were big on youtube and i've noticed people do like fake videos for the views and stuff and i always told myself like if i ever get into that i just want to be my real authentic self i want people to know me for who i am like the real me i don't want to have to put on a fake image i want them to know the uncensored real me and that's the positive the negative yeah. You know, all that, the struggle, the outcome, the benefits. I want people to just know, like, you know, Bro, we all. It's so hard trying to be fake. You it know is. What I'm like that, and to me, that's not. That, and a lot of people goals. can see right through it, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the goals, like, they want to get paid from just being themselves. You feel me? That's why I got that. The good, the bad, ain't no faking it, you know, because it's like. Shit, ain't no, ain't no faking it with me. You know what I'm saying? You, we can't be ashamed of any of our scars or any of that. Flaws, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it was all part of God's process. You know, so. there's nobody's like journey that's gonna just be with no obstacles. You feel me? It's like, like <laughs> so. There's no point in trying to fabricate it or make it try to seem like everything was perfect. It's not. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. I'm not ashamed. I, I know we. I'm still working. I'm still trying to become better. I still got stuff I need to work on. So it's like, and one thing I think, I feel like people respect it more when it's raw, like because on a daily we see so much like fake stuff. Like, I love the authentic. Like I just love to know that there are other young people that are going through yeah. what I go through as well. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like when it comes to my podcast, and once I let people know, like what it is I have to deal with. Okay, yes, 
yes my that's why i'll be trying to tell people why instagram is so fake because okay instagram all you see is pictures you get no personality yeah. you get no mindset you get nothing so just to have my podcast and get people to understand my mindset better that's that's one of my big goals like i want them to know the real me besides yeah. the okay the pretty pictures i post or whatever no i want you to know how i think why i think the way i do yeah. what made me think like this like growing up what i've been through my yeah. thought process when it comes to school when it comes to work you know that's the whole point of why i started this just to get people to know the real me okay. like that's the biggest thing i just want people to know like my real <laughs> My real self, okay. <laughs> nah, they 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 gonna catch on. They they catching on. Like I like I say, I feel like it's more raw like that. Like that's why even behind like my business and everything, that's why it's named only the real relate. You feel me? Because it's like no matter what you're doing, if I'm being real, my full self, like 100, percent it's like only people who relate is gonna fuck. That's with. who gonna attract. And that's, that's who the gonna only attract. people you want around you anyway. People who relate you know what i'm saying people who who know what you're going through you yeah. know what i'm saying who going through the same thing that way like to let them know like you're not alone yeah and people that, that don't have to pretend you feel me you know that's who that's the people you want to attract that's definitely the people you want to attract and recently i've been talking more so about things that our generation needs to hear when it comes to, you know yeah. relationships and all that but a lot of people don't sit back and think, what am I put on this earth to do? You yeah. know what I'm saying? A lot of, if I go and ask people that right now, they don't know. They don't know. They don't have an idea. They never even heard. They didn't hear the question. Like, it's never been asked to them. So to talk about this and talk about, you know, uh, what our angle is, what our role is when it comes to regular or, you know, spiritual, yeah. that's, the, that's just an important topic. So. It's a great question, and it's like, it's a question. I ain't gonna lie. I, I like the topic because, like you say, it's not a question we really sit back and ask ourselves too often. Like, and, but it's a very important question, you know, because we have to remind ourselves what we're here to do so that way you don't get distracted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only that, it's like, it just helps, like, I, like realign you, you know, or what you want to do. You got to hear yourself say it, you know what I'm saying? Anything. Our, our tongue is very, very powerful. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the more and more we saying this is this is our plan, this is our goal. Yeah, this is how we're gonna do it. it, it this is the outcome. Eventually, it's gonna happen. You know, like it's gonna manifest. You know, what I'm saying that's why it's just it's important to remind yourself of what your purpose is. Like, what is your purpose? What you're trying to do. You know, because like I say, bro, it could be it can you can easily fall. The vision could get blurry easily with everything going on like distractions you know you got life at that you feel me stuff get hard you got good times bad times you just got to remember what you're here to do what you're here to do you feel me? Yeah. is yeah. there anything else you need to say trey before we wrap this up uh any yeah i just want to say shit. shout out only the real net or network i'll go tap in like i say we got pieces you know it's on the website yeah. You know, we stay with pieces. Make sure I go tap into my boy having dreams. He did just drop some new song. Come around, y'all go tap in all that. You know what I'm saying? Support the movement. You feel me? Keep being y'all self. You know what I'm saying? And keep striving to be better. You feel me? Only to real relate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Meet you at the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure I see a lot of y'all on the way there. You want me, and we just like a fuck. That's nothing else.